What's up? I am Elsa Ray, and today's tutorial was inspired by this image. This image is entirely photoshopped, but in my normal digital art tutorial style, I thought I'd body paint the skull and do my best to recreate the original image. So here's an image of a very quick, fairly decent skull I painted on the back of my good friend Ali. I start by duplicating my original layer, then going to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and it opens the image in Camera Raw. Normally, I get into Camera Raw through Adobe Bridge, but this is just another way to do it. I adjust my image's levels and things like that, just like I would for any other image. And then I add a mask layer on top of my skull body paint. I create a new layer to go below my skull layer and fill that new layer in with solid black so that when I erase portions of the skull layer, there will be a solid black background underneath. I make sure the mask tool is selected. Then I select the brush tool. With my brush color set to black, I begin painting the mask, which acts as an eraser for the skull layer. In my last Photoshop tutorial, I go over the mask tool and the magic wand selection tool that you see here in full detail, so be sure to check that out if you want to learn more. My next step is to drag and drop a smoke image onto my skull body paint layer. This image consists of white smoke on a black backdrop, and to get rid of the black, we go to our layer adjustments and click screen. These layer adjustments do all kinds of things, and the best way to learn how to use them is to just play around with them. I want the smoke to appear as though it's coming inside the skull and out the left eyeball, so I reposition it and add on a layer mask. And just like before, I select the mask and brush on black to erase, and if I erase too much, I select white and brush on the white to bring it back. Really, watch that tutorial if you don't know what I'm talking about. Next, I add another layer of smoke and do the same exact steps I did with the first smoke layer, piecing the two together as seamlessly as possible. I add more smoke to come out the right eyeball, And I then start taking the burn tool to the skull body paint layer to add some more detail. I never edit my images to this extent in my regular face paint videos, but because this is one of my digital art tutorials, I do what I want. Here's a new tool I haven't shown in my tutorials yet. It is the liquify filter. This tool is the ultimate tool to distort and correct shapes. I am using it here to correct the cheekbones above the teeth. It was looking pretty silly before. I keep burning, adding more dimension to the image, and in some areas I use the dodge tool, adding some highlights. To be just like the original image, I go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, and then the image loses all of its color. Now I'm adding my last pieces of smoke to create the lower jaw of the skull, repeating all the same steps I did on the smoke layers before. Finally, I decided the eyeballs on my painted skull looked very, very stupid. So I go back into the liquify tool and fix those right up. And that's the final image. I hope I was able to teach you something today and thank you to Allie Judy for being my model. Be sure to check out my other digital art tutorials here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.